Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by Esteban and Tatiana. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And don't forget that right now I need you to smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Are you guys ready for an amazing adventure at the zoo? Me too, let's go! It was a very exciting day at school. As all the kids were hurrying off the school bus and rushing into their classroom, there was a lot of chatter. Everybody was so excited because today was the zoo field trip day. Woohoo! Have you ever been to a zoo before? Oh, it's a really cool place to learn all about animals and see them in real life, in real person. Oh my goodness, I love seeing animals in real life. Do you have a favorite kind of animal? Well, if you like animals half as much as I do, you need to listen to the Kids Animal Stories podcast, where every story is about a different creature in our world. As Esteban and Tatiana sat down in their classroom, they were so excited. Tatiana, do you think we might see like a real lion? Oh, totally. The zoo definitely has lions. I really want to see monkeys because they're adorable, said Tatiana. All right, class, said the teacher. It is time for us to load up into the bus that's going to the zoo. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a few rules that I need you to listen to. Number one, we have to stay together. Number two, we do not feed the animals our lunch. George. (laughs) I guess the last time they went to the zoo, uh, George fed the monkeys his Cheetos and the teacher remembered. George's eyes shifted back and forth. He looked a little guilty. All right, everyone, it's time. It's time to load up in the school bus. Let's go. The entire class was so excited as they sat down in the school bus. Everyone was talking about the different animals that they wanted to see. Thankfully, the zoo was just a short drive away. And before they even realized it, the bus was pulling up to the zoo and the door had opened. All right, class, everyone, single file line. Stay together said the teacher. Everyone carefully exited the bus, staying together, and off on the adventure they went. All right, everyone, we have a change of plans a little bit. We're now able to split up into smaller subgroups, and we have a leader in each group. As the class divided into their smaller groups, Esteban and Tatiana were in the same group, and they were so excited to see their animals. As they entered the zoo... There was something strange going on. There were dozens and dozens of people, some with cameras and a lot of security guards. Wait, what's going on here? Said Tatiana. As they walked past one of the people with the cameras, they said, Oh yes, last night there were very strange green lights hovering over the zoo and we're doing a special report on it. Green lights? I bet that's an alien, said Esteban. Tatiana rolled her eyes. There's no such thing as aliens. Come on, I'm I'm sure it was just someone playing around with a drone. Let's go. Well, the rest of the day, Esteban and Tatiana spent exploring the zoo with their group when all of a sudden, Esteban saw something strange. Tatiana, look over there at that rhino. Where? 
I didn't see. Oh, wow. There, that is a big rhinoceros, said Tatiana. Esteban had been watching this rhino for a, a very long time. And he noticed some very peculiar behavior. That means kind of like some strange behavior. Well, this rhino, he was standing in the middle of his play area and he was holding up his horn very tall in the sky and closing his eyes and not moving. He almost looks like a statue, said Esteban. But he was not a statue. They could see him breathing, but he's holding very still with his horn held high. Wait, I wonder if the aliens last night froze the rhino and now he's turning into a statue, said Esteban. Tatiana refused to even listen because she did not believe that there were aliens flying over the zoo last night. Ah, it's the green lights. They're back, shouted someone in the distance. Esteban and Tatiana turned around and sure enough, in the sky, there were seven green lights floating in the sky. All they could see was the bright green glow. They couldn't see anything else around it, just the, all the very bright green lights. And they were flying around, headed right towards them. Dun, dun, dun. What would you do if green lights in the sky were headed right towards you? Would you think it was aliens? Well, that's exactly what Esteban thinks. Tatiana, we gotta get under the picnic tables. Hurry! They both rushed underneath some picnic tables as they watched the green lights float over right above the rhino. The green lights started to circle and circle, and you could see the rhinoceros's horn start to glow. It had a very bright white glow coming from its horn. Remember the rhino that was holding still with its horn held high? As the green lights got closer, the, the glow got brighter. Tatiana, it, it looks almost like the rhino is, is some kind of repellent against those green lights. Looks like he's trying to fight them away. Look, all of a sudden, its horn got super bright, almost as bright as the sun. And everyone had to close their eyes or else they would have gone blind. And then as they opened their eyes, the green lights vanished and had disappeared. What in the world just happened? said Tatiana. Just then, all the reporters and the people with camera and security guards came rushing over. Hello, did anyone see where those green lights went? We, uh, we heard that they were over in this direction, they said. Esteban and Tatiana looked at each other and said, You won't believe it. They circled around the rhinoceros. The rhinoceros's horn started to glow, and then the green lights vanished. Unfortunately, the reporters thought that Esteban and Tatiana were making up a pretend story, but it was actually real. The reporters kept walking, searching for the green lights, but Esteban and Tatiana knew that whatever they were, that rhino had a magical horn that protected them and scared off the green lights. Wow, what an amazing adventure that Esteban and Tatiana have just gone to the zoo. I don't know about you, I've never seen that happen before, but maybe next time we will. And that is the end of our adventure. The end. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair? Or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon? Or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends? Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, they're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends. Each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box. Remember, 
the Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Great job, friends. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Henry and Dilly from Canada, Yash from India, Alexis from Washington, Jack and Dean from New Jersey, Mac and Shea from New York, Jake the Great from Georgia, Malcolm from Maine, and James from Pensacola, Florida. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.